Hi everyone! Today we are going to talk about the question whether this price increase for Bitcoin is just a short term phenomenon or whether it is able to last longer and so much more. Let's start off directly with a market overview. The Ethereum dominance is 19.5%, the Bitcoin dominance is 41.2%. The Ethereum price is today 1581 USD, Bitcoin is trading at 21264 USD. The fee and greed index is now at 52, so at the status neutral. What is interesting here is that the fee and greed index is now finally over 50 again. The last time that happened was in April 2022. The Bitcoin traded at $45,500 at that time. Please keep in mind that my videos do not contain any financial advice. They serve for informational and entertainment purposes only. After the news, I'm going to show you some interesting insights on different coins and tokens that are currently trending. So make sure to watch the video until the end. Market Situation The opinions regarding the market situation are divided. On the one hand, the investors are relieved that the prices are going up again finally after some really hard months. But on the other hand, many people fear that this is only a bull trap and that the price might bounce back to a lower low of around $12,000. Il Capo of Crypto said on Twitter over the weekend, The moment they realize this pump is just a short squeeze and not real buying, it will be too late already. Once again, the biggest bull trap I've ever seen. On Friday 17, more than $500 million were liquidated due to the fact that the short positions of investors were closed by the exchanges when the Bitcoin price rose by 28%. Already four days in a row, Bitcoin lies over the 200-day EMA, which is considered bullish, before it had been below this indicator for 284 days in a row. Technically speaking, we are currently seeing bullish signs, but we will see whether macro factors will influence it into the opposite direction, or whether this trend continues. Binance and Cold Storage for Institutions Binance Custody is the basis for Binance's mirror service, where the assets in the cold storage are mirrored using a one-on-one -on -one collateral that is kept on a Binance account. What is remarkable is that Binance is now working on its trading services for institutions, making it possible for them to invest and trade their assets on a cold storage. The official launch of Binance Mirror was announced by the crypto exchange on January 16. Binance also stated that this new service also provides an increased security for institutions, making it possible for the investors to access the platform without necessarily having to post collateral there. Binance stated in this context, quote, their assets remain secure in their segregated cold wallet for as long as their mirror position remains open on the Binance exchange, which can be settled at any time, unquote. Binance Custody was introduced two years ago and it is a custodian platform with own cold storage services for customers. Secured assets are depending on the terms of use, covered against physical loss, damage or even theft. More than 60% of the assets on Binance Custody come from the mirror service. It is yet unknown whether the exchange has the intention to offer comparable custody services to the retail users. Monex and FTX Japan After the FTX disaster last year, the exchange FTX Japan is on sale, amongst other three FTX assets, such as FTX Europe for example and the Monex Group, an online brokerage, such as FTX Europe for example. The Monex Group, an online brokerage firm from Tokyo, now seems to be interested in buying the exchange, stating that the crypto market in Japan was very promising and that they wanted to be prepared when the momentum comes. Monex is also a majority owner of the Japanese Bitcoin wallet and exchange services. But according to an official court document, there are 41 parties interested in buying the exchange, so the outcome is uncertain. Justin Sun and DCG Trying to avoid a bankruptcy filing, the cryptocurrency leader Genesis suspended the withdrawals in November last year. The company is said to owe its creditors about $3 billion. The parent firm of Genesis is the Digital Currency Group, also called DCG, and it includes more than 160 companies in its venture capital portfolio. The business has been trying to raise money after its recent financial difficulties by selling a portion of his portfolio. 
Now Justin Sun, a Chinese businessman in the crypto sector and founder of the Tron blockchain, reportedly indicated that he was interested in buying these assets from the company and willing to pay up to $1 billion. These news have sparked excitement in the crypto space. But the deal is not done yet and we have seen it with Binance and FTX that they can also fail. So we will have to wait until the deal is officially closed. FTX and Secret Backdoor An attorney of the crypto exchange FTX named Andrew Dieterich has provided more information on the circumstances that contributed to the company's downfall. The attorney testified before the Delaware Bankruptcy Court that the FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried was responsible for the downfall because he allegedly gave his co-founder Gary Wang the order to build a secret backdoor that made it possible for the hedge firm Alameda Research to borrow funds from FTX. So reportedly this way Alameda borrowed $65 billion dollars of the money from FTX clients without having their consent. He said, quote, Mr. Wang created the Spectre by inserting a single number into millions of lines of code for the exchange, creating a line of credit from FTX to Alameda, to which customers did not consent. And we know the size of that line of credit. It was 65 billion, unquote. Alameda then allegedly used that money to invest it in planes and houses or for political donations. Meanwhile, Sam Bankman-Fried seems to insist on his innocence. The trial is scheduled for October this year. Short news Boris Johnson's office reportedly received £1 million as a donation from a crypto investor in Thailand, as official documents show. According to a close source to Johnson, the funds were intended to support his work as a former prime minister, rather than to fund a potential comeback. Iran and Russia are planning on issuing a new stablecoin in collaboration that is supposed to be backed by gold. So instead of using for example the US dollar for cross-border transactions, the stablecoin is supposed to fill this gap. Now there are considerations whether the two countries might use Cardano's new stablecoin JET, but there is no official information about that yet. The Three Arrow Capital founders Suzu and Kyle Davies are trying to raise $25 million dollars with the goal of opening a new crypto exchange called GTX in collaboration with the CoinFlex co-founders Mark Lamp and Sudu Arumugam. The opinions in the community are divided. Some are excited about the new project, some are not amused about the disgraced founders of Three Arrows Capital launching a new platform. Coins of the Day Now let's talk about the best three of the top 200 cryptocurrencies that have performed best in the last 24 hours according to CoinGecko. Rocket Pool is number one. This cryptocurrency has made 27.8% in the last 24 hours. Number two is Shiba Inu with 18.5% and Casper Network ranks number three with 15.4%. I'm now going to introduce Rocket Pool. Rocket Pool was founded in 2016 by David Rugendijk and it is a decentralized Ethereum staking pool and users get up to 4.33% APR for ETH2 staking. So basically anyone can make use of the ETH2 staking, no matter how technically competent they are or what their financial capacity is. It also provides liquid staking where investors benefit from a rising exchange rate rather than rebasing their stake collateral. To sum it up, it is a network of decentralized and autonomous nodes with an RPL collateral. Today the RPL token trades at 35.76 USD and the highest price was 59.46 USD in November 2021. The lowest price was 0.008 USD in August 2018. Twitter post of the day Let's have a look at the Twitter post of the day of root 2 One of the most important characteristics to have in crypto is intellectual curiosity. Intellectual curiosity is a person's willingness and desire to learn new things and dig deeper than the surface. How much deeper are you willing to go compared to others to create an edge? Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to support me. Down there you can also find my playlist with interesting videos about coin developments over time.